Well, it's been a minute. It's been a while. Yes, yeah, I got Alex back with me, and we're going to be talking about a really cool gun. And what's it called? It is a Henry Lever Model X. In 357, right here on Reviews It. We got a Henry Sidegate right here. And uh, tell me a little bit about it. Is it new? Is it, I mean, what's special about this little gun? So it's not necessarily new. It's new to me. It was hard for me to get. Anyone that's been out there, especially here in California knows, they are not easy. They're not just laying around. Whenever they come available, they tend to go very fast. So I had to call in some favors to get this one. So what I liked about this is when it was announced, it was actually announced during SHOT Show during COVID. Okay, so and back in 2020. So I don't know if you remember back at, during that time, I had mentioned to you, I was like, well, when, when they're available, I want to get some from the store. Sure. But then it got almost impossible. Like Henry's were just gone. We, we couldn't get our hands on them. So I've been wanting and wanting and wanting, and specifically in 357. Mm -hmm. So for me, I'm wanting a 357 to match a revolver that I have in 357. Mm -hmm. So it just makes sense to me. And I know mm -hmm. everyone's going to argue, oh, you should go 44 or bigger. I, I get that. And trust me, I'll probably go with the 44 one later. Sure. But I really wanted one to go with my revolver so that it makes sense for me on buying my ammo. Sure. So Henry Model X in 357. It's got a 17 inch, 17 and a half inch barrel. It's got fiber optic sight, so you have the green in the front and the red in the back. Okay. So it is clear. Okay. So it's got a thread cap right here, so you could actually go to the Henry site and they have a muzzle brake that I could add on there. Okay. So to get me that little bit longer barrel if I want. It's got some holes uh, pre-drilled out right there. Oh, so for I could, a Picatinny rail? Yes, yeah, so I could put a little Picatinny up there with a the red dot, which I'm considering, but I kind of like it the way it is. Mm -hmm. Lever is slightly larger than a standard. So it's not a large loop, but it's not a small loop. No, and I'll be honest with you, I'm really happy with this. One of the things I thought initially that I was going to do is change it out to a big lever, you know, one of the big loops. Mm -hmm. But I got to say, I'm really enjoying this one. It's just that nice, nice, perfect. I've never seen this dog leg here on a, on a lever action. This is really interesting. What, what this must tighten it up or lock it in when you when you do it I, I could be mistaken because i'm i'm new to levers but i believe that kind of locks up in here because the lever itself actually connects to the bolt oh okay. i didn't know that until i actually had to take it apart to do a cleaning oh. so you take off the screw and you pull it out and the lever itself actually connects to the bolt right here okay so when you go like this it comes back and i think I, I honestly i'm i'm not even going to try to guess what that does right there because i'm going to sound really bad yeah so what calibers does this X come in. So if I remember correctly, and I could be mistaken, it comes in 357, 44 mag, I think 3030, and 4570. I could be wrong okay. on the 3031. Okay. Though. Yeah. So, yeah, uh, you know, Marlin had their 1776, or Winchester had their 1870. A 1894. 1894. Yeah. So, Henry, or I'm sorry, uh, let me backtrack. Henry has the X. Marlin actually has a Dark Series. So, it's the called Dark Marlin series. Dark Series. Okay. So, yeah. it's kind of like this as well. But what I really liked when this came out was this was, and I, I believe this was Henry's first side gate in their standard rounds. Okay. And that's what got me incredibly excited and you can still load it from the it, front too yes so, so it's you still can load got, it this way or that way so it still got both ways okay so gotcha. you now got, you got a little light rail right here on the bottom right there on the so, bottom you got a little light rail right there and it's got m lock oh so okay. you can set up a flashlight or something else that you want right there so it looks like they're just coming out and trying to make a more modern interpretation of their rifle yes yes simple basic um you know, I, I was a little hesitant when I when I got it because I was worried that these were going to be a little too flimsy. But I have to say, this handguard and especially this buttstock, it's it solid. is solid. It's, it's, it's not hollow. It's no, solid. I thought it was going to be hollow, and I feel that you know, if I had to actually give someone a little love tap with that, <laughs> uh, they're going to fill it. No kidding. No kidding. So yeah, no, I'm just well, I'm excited. The best way to figure out a gun is to go out there and go boom, boom, boom with it. Yeah. And let's go take this in the range and shoot some. Uh, Let's go shoot some rounds through it and see how it feels shooting, and then we'll come back and wrap it up. Okay, this is a side gate gun. You can load it two ways. By the way, if you're watching right now, we'd love for you to subscribe. Just go there, hit the sub subscribe and notification buttons, please, please. It helps us out, and it gets more people out there watching these great videos. So thank you for that. 
Side gate means there's, you can load it from here or you can load it from down here. We're going to try the side gate load. You go bullet first into this side and you just push it in. It's a little difficult. It's still new. Oh yeah, still new. We're putting eight rounds in here. I'll load it, but when we go to your video, we won't need to load it up. Here we go. Wow, this is the first time ever doing it. It's quite, uh, it's quite the thing, huh? Yeah. But it goes in. One more. All right, here we go. No safeties on here, huh? Nope. Let's see if it works. Oh, there it goes in there. <laughs> I'll be shooting at number one today. We're number one today. Oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> Let's go take a look at it real quick. All right. We're doing 10 yards right now just to give a whirl, but um, my first round was there, and then all the rest of the next one are here, and I just slowly start creeping it down. But uh, I'd say that's a pretty good grouping right there. Hey, first time shooting it. Yeah. Yeah. All right. You ready to go? Oh, I'm ready. Aha. Let's do this. All right, got it all loaded up. And for those of you that are new to levers, I'm kind of new to them too. <laughs> Loading it up, a little, a little trick to the trade. When you load it in, the first round in, don't push it all the way in. Leave it hanging out just a little bit and put the next one in after that. So the last round, yes, you'll push it all the way in. But if you leave all the other ones hanging out a little bit, makes it a lot easier for loading. All right, so eight rounds, 10 yards. Let's have some fun. Yeah, I knew that. Double wreck. Yep. Seven, because number eight is right there. Yep. All right. So what happened on that? Was you short stroke it or something or what? Yeah, I short stroked it. I, I, I've, I've shot this a couple times so far and I've done that once or twice. So getting used to lever actions or something that, oh, good shooting. Did you see my first shot? Uh, no, I was focusing on the camera. What? I, I, my first shot, I, I literally, yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited. Yeah, let's, let's get back in there and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Please don't forget to subscribe, but oh my gosh. Um, lever action guns are just a treat to shoot. And we were shooting 38 through this thing, and I had a difficult time loading this thing, and then you were smooth, because if you leave the round out just about halfway, yeah. when you put the first one in, then you follow it with the second one, follow with the third one, follow. So you never want to push it all the way in until yeah. the very last one, and it follows right in. You know, it's funny you mentioned that in there. I, I actually, I was watching some videos, and I had saw someone say that, so that's what I, I started doing, and yeah. I found it. it well, thanks really for the does. help, man. 
Yeah, I was you know. All, <laughs> <laughs> trying to force it in there. Trying to force it in there. You know what I think is cool is anytime you have a lever action, people dig it. It doesn't matter how tactical you are, you know, AR'd out, yep. all this kind of stuff. You bring a lever action out and everyone's like, wow, let me give that a shot. Because I mean, there's just something about them. They're, they're fun. They're they are. They are super, super fun. Uh, typically chambered in 3030 is the originals, you know, kind yeah, of sort of. And you yeah. get them in 45 long cold. Long cold. Some, yeah, I was going to yeah. say long cold was very popular too because that yep. one with their older revolvers then too. Yep, yep. It was a matchup for both. So you could yep. carry the same bullets on your belt. For both. Uh, for both. Yeah. And uh, Totally makes sense. I tell you, uh, a good lever action rifle is always a great thing to have in your safe and always oh. a great thing to have fun shooting. Oh. And my God, um, I've never shot this thing before and I was I was cutting some holes in there and you did a really great job. We're only 10 yards, I understand that. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. But my God, would this thing tear up a lot of stupid if you had to use it? Oh, oh, I'm telling you. It, it, it's something nice. It, it really is something nice to shoot. And, you know, we were shooting 38 special, just like you said. So 38 is, uh, in this gun, it almost shoots, feels like you're shooting like a 22. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I feel it's, nothing right here. It, yeah, it's, it, it sounds like a 22 mag when, you, when you're shooting. Nothing. Yeah. Yeah, you know that, and that's what just really makes me happy about this gun. It's just, you know, you're not. It's not like you're shooting 12, uh, 12 gauge slug or nothing, and your shoulders really feeling it. You know. Mm -hmm. Now I shot three fifty seven through this. I've had this for a couple weeks now, so we weren't able to do our video before. You know, so yeah, I was uh, gone. Huh? Yeah, yeah. So I have uh, played. You know. Me and a few friends have put some rounds through this. I put some 357 through, and you can tell 357 over 38 special. There is a little bit more. We had a 357 in the range this last week for CCW, yeah. and he was shooting his other guns. Then he put 357 in, and I swear to God, I thought he had a 44 mag in there. Yeah, yeah, the, it, it was. You know, you don't think it's that much more, but it, it was a little bit more. But it was a nice shoot, and I really enjoy this gun. I'm, I'm very happy that I acquired it. Uh, the Henry Model X. Henry Model X chambered in 357 38 special. Yep, and you can get it in other chambers also. You get a little bit longer barrel if you get the bigger, bigger caliber stuff. Yep, threaded barrel. Um, nice, heavy enough that it's substantial, but not so heavy that you can't carry it. It's a great little gun. Yeah. Yep. I'm what does this one cost? This one was nine forty nine. Nine forty nine retail. Now, retail is nine forty nine for this gun right here. And uh, please, uh, once again, subscribe below. We have tons of other videos if you're interested. Just to hit the search engine on that thing. But uh, Alex, great to be back on film with you. Again. You had a lot of <laughs> Good people. <seeing> you. <laughs> yeah, you had a lot of people that were. Um, Where's Alex? Where's Alex? Because I had uh, Chris and Austin and some other stuff. We got one coming up with Austin too. That Canic Compact. Oh, uh, that is so lucky on Austin. I've been wanting to try one of those Canics. So we're going to try out the trigger and see how that thing goes here in the next video coming up. But uh, there you go. Thank you for your time today. Hey, and for uh, as out. always, thank you for traveling with us today here at the King's Gun Center on Reviews It. And uh, you guys have an absolutely fantastic day.